everyone welcome back it's friday favorites and flops hopefully you guys had a great week sorry this video is going to be up just a little bit late today uh i was trying to decide whether i was going to do a makeup geek i like new they have new foil pigments which are incredible or if i was going to do a friday favorites but i had a ton of friday favorites so i decided to film it if you're new to my channel because i just collabed this week so if you happen to come over from my collab with shay then welcome and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and let's just get into some of my favorites i really have been doing a whole bunch of decluttering this week and the last week and just really reorganizing some of my palettes i've been pulling out palettes to do older palettes because a lot of you guys have said that you like the fact that i'm using older products and in that discovery i did like my top five favorite palettes and top five worst palettes so when i was doing that i pulled out one of my like all-time favorites which was the Lorac pro palette this was like my palette that i had to make myself put down I love it so much and so I'm wearing it today and what I like about it is I typically feel like it's a warm palette to me I, you get a lot of like warm looks from it but there are those cool toned shades like the shade mauve which I have a major dent in and taupe you can use those together and create those are what I use as my transition color that's all I have in my transition and then I just deepened out the outer corners with the color black and then I have a Makeup Geek pigment in Gargoyle on my lid. So I will have that Makeup Geek video up probably tomorrow so keep a lookout for that and you can see the pigments which they're amazing. But I liked the fact I could get a cool tone look from this. The shadows in here blend so beautifully like the taupe color, this uh, mauve color is like probably one of my absolute favorites. Obviously you can tell since I have the biggest dent in it. But the shadows just, they blend on the eye. They are a little bit powdery, but they're not powdery. They just kick up product, so be careful of that. They're very soft shades, but I don't mind it because they just, they're beautiful. So that's taupe and mauve. And then I have white and cream on my brow bone and a little bit of nude in the inner corners and like at the very touch of the brow bone. But I just, I love this palette so much. The nude shade is just like super nude, pretty, almost has like a pink shift to it. I also really love the deep purple in this palette. It's a very, very nice, shimmery, pigmented, beautiful, deeper purple. So anyways... Love the Lorac Pro palette, and I definitely think it's a great palette. A lot of you guys express that you love the fact that I'm doing these videos with throwback palettes, so I'm going to start doing it for a bunch. I'm going to include them into newer product looks, like I'm going to be posting a video on Monday where I'm using a Stila Magnificent Metal Liquid product, and that is a newer product. I'm going to pair it with an older eyeshadow palette that I haven't given much love to. So anyways, Dana came over this weekend, my friend Dana, and she helped me organize. She has a channel. You guys probably already know that, but Dana, Dana Ann is her channel. She helped me organize all my palettes and helped me clean out some of my makeup collection because I'm a hoarder. So I literally will save boxes and packaging of products and like weird stuff. Like I, I don't know. I form like crazy attachments to stuff. I, I really do think I am a hoarder. She will say, yeah, I called myself a low key hoarder and she said that I'm like a high key hoarder. But it's not like I'm living in absolute filth, but it's just, it's really hard with the intake of stuff to like make sure that I'm doing appropriate weeding out. But anyway, she helped me organize my palettes and it was nice because now I can see everything. They're on some shelves in my closet and I can see everything. And I really, it's, it makes me want to use or like know what I have so I can use it or declutter it if I'm not using it. Anyways, this palette is incredible and amazing and if you don't already have it, it's such a good palette to have in your collection. Okay, next I have been loving this blush. Like I said, I was reorganizing all my makeup and this week I pulled out this Clinique blush. This was recommended to me by my friend Cassie from Shades of Cassie. A long time ago years ago I got this blush because she said she used to love it like in high school or something like that and that she like had repurchased it again it's called iced lotus from Clinique and it's this beautiful like pink blush color with some sheen in it so Cassie if you're watching you need to pull this back out because her favorite color is blush 
which I'm wearing a shirt from Abercrombie and I know she has it. And this blush like goes perfectly. It's just this like cool tone, but it has a sheen to it. I'm wearing it today. It has this gorgeous like sheen to it and it's just so pretty, but it's it's that perfect, as you can see, it like matches my shirt. It's that perfect like cool tone pink with this a little bit of a shift but not too much and it's not so pigmented like it blends in and it just brings a nice like light to the skin so I've really really been loving it let me see if I can like build up the swatch so you can really see the color if I build it up but blended out like that's built up a lot but blended out it's just this beautiful like color and it the formula is really nice and it blends out really nice and like I said it has that sheen but it's not too much where it's going to make your pores more visible or anything like that. So I love this blush and I love the fact that I'm trying to go back and like find products that I used to really love and pull them back out again and show them some love. So if you have never tried this Clinique blush and you're someone who loves like that cool tone-ish pink color with a little bit of sheen, I think that you'll really like this one. Okay, I never talk about brushes really, and I definitely don't talk about more. Not that I have anything against them, I just, I don't know, I just never really talk about brushes. Uh, it seems like a lot of people do talk about Morphe, and they do have really, really great brushes. Uh, but, and I have one today that I've been using a ton, and I wanted to share it with you. I'm not affiliated with Morphe or anything like that, so I don't have a discount count code to share with you but I will try and leave my friend Stephanie from Babs Beauty her discount code down below so that if you do want to purchase the brush you can get a discount um, that code is an affiliate code so you will be giving money to her if you do choose to use it but um, I'm sure she would be very thankful and she's a great person so uh, you should be happy to use her code if you don't mind using affiliate codes anyways Morphe brush in M524 is like I don't know what it is about this brush. It's like this dense sort of but fluffy brush and it tapers. What I really love about this is when my eyeshadow is completely done, it, I just keep it like clean and I buff the edges of my eyeshadow and it just helps to really give a more diffused and blended look. I'm guilty sometimes of like not getting a great blend like my eyelids are a little bit like they're aging a little bit and so when I go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth like sometimes my eyes like are really sensitive to that so I, it that's an excuse to really be lazy with my blending and sometimes I am but this kind of is like the lazy girls like tip or pro product to get because I just take it and I just go right like along the top edge of my eyeshadow and just give it one good buff and it really just blends it out and diffuses it and it's just a really great brush I've loved it for that it's like soft enough and it's fluffy enough and it's kind of dense enough to get the product but it's it's not too dense where it like moves the product you know what I mean like moves it as in leaves a patch it does a great job at just spreading that product out and blending it. So the M524 is where it's at if you're looking for a great kind of cleaner up and buffer up when you're done sort of blending your eyeshadow and just to get that last sort of diffused blend. I tried out a bunch of Milani products in the last couple of weeks and this one has just made a lasting impression on me. I love it. It's the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Prime, correct, and set in its 16 hour wear. I love this. So it's a really lightweight spray. It has a really nice scent. It's like a little bit of a perfumey scent. It doesn't linger, but you can smell it when you spray it. It has a great mist on it, which is important to me in a spray because if you're spraying your makeup and you have a really crappy mist that comes out of the product, then it like can shoot and like, trust me, I've had problems where I'm like, ugh, I done messed up. I spray my makeup and I'm like, the world hates me right now. But this one has, just let me watch, just show you. Like it's like, you know, like a good like spray. So I, oh, I just, it's, it just feels so good. And it has this like slight, like perfumey, but light 
pleasant fragrance. I think that people will like the fragrance. I don't think it's going to be like, uh, but it's, it's a good, I love it. So it comes with 2.03 fluid ounces. Um, and you can find it at your drugstore. I was personally sent this, but I also saw it at Walgreens. So if you're looking for it, Walgreens has a lot of the new Milani products already out. Uh, but this is great. And also it's online too. Online on Milani and I think Target. So website, I will try and link it down below, but I really, really have been liking this. So if you're looking for a good setting spray from the drugstore, this is a great one. Or just like a good setting spray in general. Okay, I have one last product I just want to say, like it's a lip combo. I used it in my video that I did my throwback Thursday and I was like, oh baby, baby. So it's Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude, which is, it's what the lip combo I have on right now. I don't have it as on like I did before because I have like one of the Makeup Geek foiled lip glosses on top, but this is just a beautiful everyday more I would say more like brown peachy nude and I love 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 this color the lip cheats are incredible because they're so creamy and just they go on and they really do cheat your lip line like I have a wonky lip line so I have to go down on the edges right here and sometimes it looks crazy, but it's like, if I don't, it's like red right there. Like my lip line does extend in some places and then it kind of goes up. It's, it's super wonky. But anyways, I find that these lip cheats make it look the natu most natural as possible. The times I get in trouble is like when I'm using like a red lip liner and like you can really see that I have a jaggedy lip line. So anyways, I really love the lip cheats if you're looking for something that is really going to be like a lip cheat. And then I can't say enough good things about these new Burberry liquid lip velvets. I know I talked about them before. I have the color Fawn Rose, which is like my favorite color of my entire life my most perfect shade but then I picked up the shade light nude that's what I have on top of that lip liner and I love it but it's very very light I will say it's very very light but it's one that you could use with a lip liner and I just put it on my lips and it's just such a velvety moussey formula and I just blend it in with my fingers so that it blends into the lip liner but I love it they are so comfortable on the lips I, I can't say enough good things. I've heard that these are very similar to the Marc Jacobs liquid lipsticks, but I haven't tried those yet. But um, I think they're around the same price range, I believe. Maybe these Burberry ones might be a little bit more expensive, but if you can, if you can spring for one, I would get Bon Rose, I think it is, or the Light Nude. If you're like a nude girl, you'll love this. And you can use like a darker lip liner if you want to just like get around the lip line. Anyways, I do have one flop for you this week. This is the Kiko Mascara, and it is an Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara. Now, this was recommended to me from Kathleen. I usually love everything Kathleen recommends to me. Uh, and she, I bought two, and I remember her saying, like, what if you hate it? And I was like, ah, who cares? I usually like things that she recommends, but I should have known because mascara is one of those very particular things. People really love a mascara and then people really hate a mascara. It depends on what you're looking for for your particular lashes. Now she really loves, I believe, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I really don't. That mascara just doesn't work for me. Uh, and this Kiko uh, Extra, Sculpt, Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara is very similar to that mascara. I would say very similar to it. The wand is thick and puffy. The formula is very similar. The bristles are similar. The way that it attaches to your lashes is very similar. I personally just do not like it at all. Um, and the brush is too big for me. But if that's something, if you like the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara, you will really, really like this. So I'll just say, it's a flop for me, but if you like that mascara, I think this might be a win for you. And it's relatively inexpensive. I think it was $9 a tube. So, and it's a really nice, pretty tube. So anyways, that was it for my Friday favorite. Just hit my little. <laughs> that was it for my Friday favorites and flops. Hopefully you guys had an amazing week. Leave below your favorites. You know I love to hear them. And leave me some of your palettes that you would like to see in a throwback type of a video. Because a lot of you said you really want me to do that. And Shay said she didn't mind if I did a similar type of a, like using older palettes. 
So let me know what palettes you guys have on your mind and you want to see in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.